everyone, how's your day? Welcome back to Science Lesson for P4 students with me, Miss Rosa. Today, we are going to continue our lesson in Unit 6 about sounds. For today, we focus on the lesson C. Why are some sounds soft and some sounds loud? So friends, are you ready for the lesson? Let's start! You can open your pupils book page 134 until 140. I will tell you the learning goal for our lesson today. You will measure sound levels in decibels with a sound level meter. And you also learn vocabulary such as soft, loud, sound level, decibel, and sound level meter. I have an illustration. Place some beans on top of a drum. What do you observe? When we hit the drum, the skin of the drum vibrates. This causes the beans to jump. When we hit the drum weakly, the vibration of the drum skin are small. Then the sound made is soft. What will you observe if you hit the drum harder? Will the beans jump higher or lower? When we hit the drum harder, the beans jump higher and the sound is louder. It happens because the vibration of the drum skin are larger. Small vibration produce soft sound. For example, when you whisper. In other hand, large vibration produce loud sounds. For example, the screeching of car tires is loud. So what can we use to measure sound levels? Can you take a look for this chart? We see there are three levels here, the green, the yellow, and the red one. The green means it's soft sound, and for the yellow one is moderate, and for the red one is very loud. Our ears can be very uh, pain. A loud sound has higher volume and sound level than a soft sound. Sound levels are measured in the unit decibel, or you can write dB. Loud sounds are 85 dB and above. The loud sounds can harm our ears. Very loud sounds can damage our ears and lose our hearing. Can you take a look for this script? What are they talking about? Can you help Lily? What can Lily do? to show that Tom's music is too loud. Do you have any idea? Right, friends. Lily can use a sound level meter to measure the sound level of Tom's music. We should protect our ears by avoiding loud sounds. So, turn down your volume. Now let's recap what you have learned for this lesson. Small vibration produce soft sound, while large vibrations produce loud, loud sounds. A soft sound has a low volume and sound level, and then a loud sound has a high volume and sound level. Sound levels are measured in the unit decibel. And the last one, a sound level meter can be used to measure sound level. So friends, is my explanation clear? Thank you so much for paying attention to this explanation. See you again in Zoom, friends. Bye everyone.